Hey everyone, today I am really excited to talk about a new favourite action figure of mine. This is Doc Ondar from the Black Series line based on the Disney Parks experience at Galaxy's Edge. I recently travelled to the Disneyland Resort in December and I've known about this figure for quite a while now. He was at the very top of my priority list. I made sure that I wasn't going to leave that park without him. He was one of my main priorities as an exclusive figure, not sold anywhere in this country and priced at 45 USD. I love the Disney Parks too much to pass on him and I think that he looks perfect. The packaging I also really love, resembling the design of all of the merchandise that's available at the Disney parks. Some nice artwork on the front here, and the figure is also here on the back with a little bit of information about the contents and display. That side packaging also has him with all of his accessories. I really think the plastic free packaging looks really good on this figure here. He was about 75 NZD, it's pretty steep, parks exclusive and all, I did make an exception for him. Black Series figures are usually 55 NZD, so you're paying another $20 for the extra goods, the specially molded pieces, the exclusive and whatnot. The packaging door does open up to show more of the character artwork and a little description on him as well. This part's rather repetitive, sure, ideally this would be where the window packaging was, but I can't wait to have him display with my other Galaxy's Edge figures that I also love that I picked up some years ago. I've had these others for quite a while now, but now I have enough to have a small display of just the Galaxy's Edge Park figures, and also because I picked up that droid pack from the Droid Depot if you missed it in the Toy Hunt video. Out of the box here with all of his extras is Doc Ondar, who is the first Ithorian alien with an incredibly special sculpt and soft goods clothing. The accessories are exactly what I was wanting from him as well, as each item is either displayed in the store or is actually something that you can purchase. I think he's incredible, and I don't really know where to start with him. That head sculpt is really great, finally bringing the Hammerhead alien into the Black Series line, and a really good character to start it out with. A mix of both soft goods and hard plastics for his clothing, he has a necklace here which is a removable piece that's just tucked in behind the grooves of the clothes there. A hood that looks really nice, but he can't really wear it over his massive head or anything. I love the look of the soft good clothing on him. Everything is held into place really well because of the plastic pieces that are used over the shirt. Everything complements that design so nicely, and he's been a lot of fun to play around with. I really love the posing that he has going on with his hands and his fingers as well. Special parts all made for him, and the paints on his wristbands are a nice touch as well. Here's some up close shots of the head mold there. The figure released some months ago now and I've seen some people have already been using him for customs and they've all been really cool to see. He's got a lot going on for him for his details, I think he's terrific. As for his articulation, that head is really interesting. It's a really big piece with some movements only at the very end here. I'd say that you do get enough movement out of it for what it needs to achieve. His arms have the rotates and bends that are needed there as well, really nice to see. Elbows have the single bends in them and also some rotates here too and the hands have their own movements and rotates on offer which is great to see. The same can be said for the other arm also, it moves the exact same way. He does have some rotations in the waist, but you can't really get a whole lot out of that articulation. Legs have good movements too, but again, the soft goods do get in the way for the articulation there. He's got some bends and rotates in the knees, and his huge feet also have some pretty nice movements on offer as well. A much bigger figure than the usual ones that I'm used to, he can stand really nice and easily. His accessories are really interesting as well for a Black Series figure, and easily one of the highlights. His first item here is the Sword of Cassian, I had to google that. It's an ancient Sith relic weapon that Doc has come into position of. The sword has appeared in some comic series before. It's a really nice accessory for him to have honestly. We then have a phase 1 clone trooper helmet which to me feels like the standard helmet that's been used on the other figures in the past. This helmet has some sand and dirt markings to help show its age and war torn style. It's a really cool piece to see as well. And then his last two accessories here are some holocrons both in the Sith and Jedi variant. These are both real toys that you can buy at the store and I almost bought one myself while I was there but I decided to go with the wave Finder instead, just because the Wayfinder has the added inclusion of coming packaged in a crate. These holocrons are really cool accessories that I think we've seen before, really good paint details, perfect accessories to include with this figure. Fitting the accessories in his hand has also been really fun, he doesn't have any of those action pose gestures, more like wristing gestures. The sword fits really well in his hands and he can be displayed as though he's admiring the item. Those long fingers really work for keeping things like helmets and holocrons nicely balanced, all in all a really great figure honestly. Doc Honda has quickly become one of my favourite toys in my collection. I think that the moulds he uses are really great, and those details in the clothes and soft goods and plastic materials makes for a really great contrast for that design. To top all of that off, the accessories are also really wonderful inclusions that make for a really great display piece total, and it fit perfectly within that character. I know that he's one of the more expensive figures that I've bought, but there is enough novelty there for me, and the figure itself is just a really good one. If you enjoyed this review of a Star Wars The Black Series figure, liking the video and subscribing to the channel does help to support me in making more videos like this one.